Welcome. This is a slow flow, which you can do on your day off or after a workout, something to release tension in the muscles. Come to stand at the top of the mat, have some space in between the feet. Take deep breath in, reach the arms up. Stand tall, reach up and exhale. Release the arms. Grounding into the feet. Inhale, stand tall, reach through the fingertips. Look at the place where your fingers meet and exhale. Once more, deep breath in, reach up, look up. As you exhale, take a bend in the knees and come into a forward fold. We come halfway up, straighten the legs, look forward. And as you exhale, folding again, bend the knees, drop the head. Inhale, lift the chest, straight back, straight legs, shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And roll the spine all the way back up to stand. Inhale, reach the arms up. Find length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway up, straight legs, straight spine. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Take the palms to the floor. We step the right foot back. We step the left foot back. We're just gonna hold plank for three breaths. Press the floor away from you. Tailbone tucks in, upper back lifts up. and lower down the hips to the floor. Lift the chest up. Tuck the toes and lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Knees can be bent. You just want to feel that stretch along the backs of the legs. Maybe bend one knee and then the other. Feeling into the tightness, into the soreness. And come back to center. We bring both knees to the floor. Inhale, lift your right arm up. And exhale. We place the top of the palm on the floor and slide the hand underneath the left arm. Rest the right shoulder and head to the floor. You can keep your left hand on the floor for support, or you can take your left hand behind the back over towards your right thigh. This gives you a bit of a twist. Bring the left hand back to the floor. Gently, slowly press yourself back up. Hands and knees. Inhale, the left arm lifts up back of the palm to the floor and slide it underneath the right arm left shoulder and head to the floor use your right hand for support and only if you're very comfortable and you don't feel much over here then you can take the hand behind the back and maybe find your left waist You want to be somewhere where you can relax, 
breathe. And gently press yourself back up with your right hand. Return on to all fours. We're gonna walk the hands forward just for a few breaths and lower the head towards the floor, coming into puppy pose, just giving the arms, the upper body a nice stretch. If you wanna go deeper, you can bring your chest and chin towards the floor. Lift the head and gently walk the hands back. Tuck the toes and lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Point the knee up toward the ceiling and open up your hip to the side. Swing the leg forward, bring the knee towards the right hand and come to pigeon. See where you like to stay today. It can be up on the hands or down to the forearms. If you're looking to get a little bit more of a quad stretch, you can bend your left leg, bring the foot in, and bring the foot close towards the body. Remember to listen to your body. And whatever option works for you today, then go with that. Gently press yourself back up. Come from wherever you were. Tuck your left toes and stretch your right leg. Back to downward dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts up and back. Bend the knee, open out the knee, and then bring the left leg forward to pigeon. Whatever you did to the first side, see if you can do the same thing to this side. And it might feel a little bit different. One side might be more tight than the other, and that's okay. Go ahead and take your quad stretch, if that's what you're doing, or release the head to the floor. And wherever you are, gently press yourself back up. Tuck your right toes and lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Bring your right foot forward in between the hands. Lower the left knee down. Lift the chest. You can take the hands onto the thighs. Allow the hips to drop. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms to heart center. We're gonna bring the left elbow over the left thigh and twist. You can also just hold on to the leg and reach the arm, right arm back. Step the left foot forward, right knee to the floor, lift the chest, drop the hips, hands to the thigh. You're strong into your legs. We allow the hips to release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. 
take the twist. So whichever variation, either holding onto your thigh, right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. And release. Come to center. Step your left leg back. Downward facing dog. Keep a bend in the knees. Hips lift up. And bring the right knee down. And bring the left knee down. Come on to sit. Extend the legs out in front of you. We're bring the right foot in towards the left thigh. The knee opens out to the side. It's all right if it's up a little bit. Inhale, reach the arms up. Create length in the spine, reach up through the fingertips. And then as you exhale, fold. We wanna bring the belly down towards the thigh. Hands don't have to touch the foot. If you can reach, reach. Look at the toes, lift the chest. And as you exhale, bend the elbows out to the side and lower. Go only as deep as the body allows. Remember, no forcing. Use the breath, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the elbows, belly to the thigh. Keep looking at your toes. Inhale, lifting, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Hold here for a few breaths. Remember, we're not forcing the body. We're using the breath. And release, inhale, come up. We're gonna take the right hand just next to the right hip and we're gonna press down, lift the hips up, open up the chest and bend back. Give yourself a nice stretch. And come on back. This time we extend the right leg out, left foot comes in, bring it as high as you can on that right leg, right toes flexed drawing inward and the whole back of the right leg presses down into the floor sit up tall as you inhale reach up reach reach through the fingertips and exhale fold you can hold the ankle the shin the foot wherever you can remember inhale we lift the chest exhale bend the elbows belly to the thigh keep looking at the toes Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Use your breath. Go at your own pace. Follow your breath. Make that connection internally, breath and the body. This will help you to go deeper. This will help you to relax and open the muscles. And the next time you exhale, we hold the pose, don't hold the breath. And we stay just for a few breaths. And then as you inhale, release. We'll take the left hand just outside the left thigh, press into the floor, lift the hips up, lean back, give yourself a little back bend. Feel the stretch all along the right side body. Come on back, hips to the floor. Bend the knees a little bit. Wrap your arms around the legs and let the head relax down. You can rest the forehead onto the knees.
take a few moments to feel the body, to be grateful for this gift that you've been given, grateful for the ability to move, to breathe. And gently begin to lift the head, 